Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. So I just finished doing a reading and I figured I was actually, uh, we just finished doing a reading that I'm going to be uploading in the next coming days. That's if I don't upload it before this one. But anyways, long story short, they were telling me some people need to know why they're single. So I said, why not? I was, before I said, why not? I was having this, you know, back and forth conversation with my spirit guide. And it is, um, this specific spirit guide is very straightforward. So they were like, yeah, you know, sometimes we need to do, um, a service to those that need guidance and we have to be harsh. And I was like, yeah, I know all about that. Cause you're harsh as hell when it comes to my issues. <laughs> Anyways, if you've had personal readings with me, um, and you've had multiple readings with me, you know the difference of how I communicate. Uh, so I'm sure you've uh, encountered some of those very straightforward readings <laughs> with that specific spirit guide. Anyways, uh, it was a back and forth. And I said, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Anyways, how are you guys doing, my lovelies? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Sorry for that backstory. You probably didn't want to know. <laughs> But I was feeling, um, I don't know, I thought it was funny and I was like, okay, you know what, fine, you want to go harsh, let's do it. I'm all about that. <laughs> Anyways, as you guys can see here, we have set number one, this is going to be set number one, orange, set number two, green, and set number three, blue. I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes, we're going to do this freehand, we're going to channel, let's get into it. Let's see why you guys are single. It's going to be very to the point. Please take this as it resonates. If it resonates, take the message, analyze it, sit with it for a bit. If it doesn't, then don't take it personal. Okay. Either way, don't take it personal. They're trying to guide you. They're trying to give you um, the honest truth. That sometimes us as humans try to sugarcoat certain things, right? And um, yeah, so we're going to do it raw and uncut. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so you guys can choose. Set number one, orange. Set number two, green. Set number three, blue. All right, hopefully you guys have made your choices. We're going to start off with set number one, orange. We're going to pull these back. All right, let me pull this. Well, hopefully you can see. I know it's hella dark, you guys. Um, oh, crap. Okay, we're going to do it like that, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I was saying I know it's extremely... Um, darker than usual my light bulb just went out so I'm gonna have to go and get that anyways let's get into your reading let's see why you're single what you need to work on okay let's get into this so those of you guys that chose set number one color orange Let's get into your reading. All right. So the first card here is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles represents to me you're very slow in very slow when it comes to um, either going towards an individual or someone you're interested in. It could be that you're very much in your head, constantly overthinking or overanalyzing. You're very slow is what they're saying. The next card here is the Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands could represent being a bit scattered. Um, I see this more like 
very idealistic about what you're looking for. Um, it could be that there is some type of Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel that you're very slow when it comes to approaching love. So it's almost like if you feel a connection, you kind of wait it out or wait for the other person to make a move. If you're a female, um, what they're telling you is you need to be more aggressive. You need to uh, really be more confident in yourself. The two of wands indicates to me people that you have either missed opportunities with um, and it could be because you feel like a, a bit restricted or extremely shy for some of you guys uh, but I do see that there's been potential for connections in the past you just haven't known how to take those opportunities now the next card here is the knight of wands so there's a lot of fire energy here I feel that there is lack of movement or lack of trusting yourself trusting your intuition uh, you're more analytic when what they're telling you is like you let opportunities and you may even find yourself like almost feeling like people around you always get attention um, and you feel like you're the one that never gets chosen or you never get approached. Um, and what they're saying is, no, girl or boy, you're really standing out. You just don't know how to take those opportunities. It's like you, when people give you attention, you kind of like, you go into your shell is what I'm hearing. So again, you need to be more confident in your approach when it comes to love and romance. You also have the Ten of Wands here. So the Ten of Wands does speak about carrying burdens. Um, burdens from the past. We have the Five of Cups and the Two of Swords. Okay, so what they're telling me is for some of you guys, um, you're still holding on to an ex or you are holding on to the grudges or what you've been through. Um the two of swords indicates to me almost like the I'm hearing like almost feeling like you're never chosen or feeling like you think you don't stand out. Um, I do see people wanting to get your attention, but I feel that you're very oblivious. For some of you guys, you could be extremely shy. For others of you, I just feel that you're very slow when it comes to taking opportunities. Um, and slow in the sense of how you communicate. Could be that you, uh, you know, don't really, don't really um, feel comfortable when it comes to new settings, when it comes to meeting new people. Uh, you could get tongue-tied. You can feel like you're restricted. You could get extremely nervous. What they're telling you is you need to be more confident in yourself. I feel that you've missed a few opportunities when it comes to love and romance. And the two of swords indicates to me being stuck to the struggle of a past connection or a past relationship. With the five of cups, you need to let that go. Stop looking at what you've lost in the past. Know and understand that moving forward, it is only up to you and you're the one that decides what happens in your life when we're talking about love and romance. So stop, you know saying to yourself, I don't need anyone. I've been so hurt. I've been through so much difficulty when it comes to relationships that I'm just not going to put myself through that situation. What they're telling you is no child. What you need to do is start paying more attention to the people you give the opportunities to. You need to see the red flags when they present themselves and walk the fuck away from that connection. Stop wasting your time and stop saying that the universe is bringing to you these um, people that are unworthy of you because you're the one that chooses them. All right. What you need to work on is hands of time. So you need to learn to be more patient. Waiting to grow old with you could represent a relationship that's coming through that is going to be a long-term committed relationship, but you need to be patient. Try the best you can not to, um, try the best you can not to get yourself into this cynical mode of, I don't need love or I don't want love. Because you feel like deep down inside, um, it's just not, it's not for you. But I feel that at the same time, you're kind of hopeful and wishing that someone may come through and bring to you that type of connection that you're looking for. When I say be patient, I don't mean when we're dealing with people or when you're presenting yourself or other people are presenting you to other friends, etc., you need to learn to be more 
<clears throat> getting out of your comfort zone. So you have to be more confident in yourself. Speak. If you don't, if you put one or two words in, like, no, you need to carry a conversation. Hands of time can also represent that it's been a long process in this uh, energy of being, being single, but it's going to be worth it in the end. You have true love coming in for you and getting to know you. So I feel that someone's coming in is definitely going to, you're definitely going to stand out. And I feel that you're going to stand out probably because you're the most quiet from your social circle or like you're not actively putting yourself out there. Like you're not an attention whore, uh, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Uh, but what they're telling me is that that all of this time where you've let opportunities pass you by, it wasn't coincidence. It was just that spirit wants to bring to you the person that is worthy of you. Because getting to know you speaks to me about a person that's generally going to take their time in getting to know you. So that's definitely a positive thing. And it's a beautiful thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, you have missed opportunities in the past um, because you may be slow in the acting or you may, you know, put a few words in and they kind of get tired of carrying the conversation. Um you perhaps have dealt with situations where you're still currently dealing with letting go something from the past. Move on from that shit. Let it go. Let it go. Put yourself out there. Be a little bit more open. Be a little bit more confident in who you are. And you're going to start to see people be more pulled towards you. Not only that, but I do see a specific individual coming through for you. And you may actually meet this person or you may be introduced to this person in the next coming months. So when I say months, it could be from now up to two, uh, up to two months. So we are in April, May, and June. So from now to June, this person may be coming into your life, okay? All right, my lovelies, let's get into set number, set number two. Okay, my lovelies, for those of you guys that chose set number two, let's get right into it. Your first card here is the Judgment card. Judgment card does represent dealing with the past or entertaining the past. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Yep. So for some of you guys, you've been single for quite a while. Could be because you're hopeful or still holding on to people from the past. You keep allowing people to come in, uh, people that are from your past that have brought you nothing but instability, and you keep either looking to the past or embracing them every time they show up, every time they want to see you, fuck around with you, whatever the situation is, you keep entertaining that. What they're telling you is know your worth. You need to walk away from anything that has not served you. If this person that you're dealing with or still continues to be dealing with is from the past and they keep coming back around, you need to walk away from that in order to embrace a new beginning. For some of you guys, the judgment card with the nine of pentacles does represent making a decision. So for some of you guys, you're making a decision that you're finally moving on or being able to let go of the past. You also have the five of wands here and the five of wands signifies to me. Yeah, I feel that for some of you guys, and I'm going to be honest with you, okay? I'm going to just give it to you. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with people from the past and it could be because you try to be single for a while, but then you get needs and they pop up into your life and you entertain that because you kind of convinced yourself, well, I'm going to get mine. But in reality, temporarily you get yours and then they pull away or start messing around with other people and then you're left to be alone again. So you need to stop doing this. If this is you embracing this type of energy, you need to let go of that. That's what's keeping you from being able to move forward. You can move forward and embrace a new beginning when you're constantly looking towards the back. You're going to fall on your ass. Do you see what I'm saying? Next card here is the Ace of Wands. So I feel that you're very intense when we're talking about relationships. Uh, intense in the sense of very passionate. And I feel that passion is something that you could be rooted or very motivated. Um, like I said, I feel that there is almost like this feeling of, you know, I, 
I'm going to get mines. I'm going to do me. Um, and, and this is like self-sabotaging mechanism. Um, I do see a new beginning coming towards you. And I see the two of cups here. So I do see love coming towards you with the emperor card. What they're telling you is, again, you got to let go of the past. You need to be more structured in what it is that you want. I feel that you often contemplate the type of relationship you would want, but then you're quick to entertain those that you know are only looking for temporary satisfaction. And how can you embrace or how can you call in something that is long-term and commitment when you're becoming or when you're acting or telling the universe, I want commitment, but it's okay. I'm going to get my needs met right now. And then tomorrow I'll look for something long-term. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, for some of you guys, it could be that you put a lot of attention to the physical aspect of a relationship without really getting to know someone. So it's like you go by looks instead of really getting to know them. And then you get to know them and then you realize, oops, this is not going anywhere uh, because there's only physical connection here. What they're telling you is you need to be a little bit less superficial uh, and really take the time to get to know people. Figure out if you guys have anything in common because I feel like for those of you guys that chose set number two, it's like you obsess over people um, that you're dealing with or that you're dating. And when they pull away, it's like you become obsessive and you've convinced yourself that you love them or you've convinced yourself that that's the person you want. But in reality, it's just the substance of the pull and tug game uh, where it keeps you hanging, like leaves you on a cliffhanger, you know, it leaves you wanting more. Um, and it's almost like an illusion. It's not really that there is a deep connection. It's just that the more they kind of run away, the more you try to attain it or the more you try to solidify it. Um, but it's not a genuine connection. It's rooted off of ego or desire. So again, pay attention to that. Uh, I do see a person coming towards you, but you got to let go of these past behaviors. It's toxic. You need to let it go. You need to see things from a different perspective with the two of swords. You got to remove the band from your eight, uh, from your eyes. You got to remove the blindfold. You got to see things like Stop saying that you've been taken, you know, for granted or that you've been led astray or that you're always like people take advantage of you or they take advantage of the situations like you need to stop taking the victim mentality and be honest with yourself. Take your power back and say, OK, this is what I've been doing in the past. I'm no longer going to put myself in these situations if a person is emotionally uh, unavailable. I'm walking the fuck away. And that's that. And I'm moving forward. A lot of you guys, like I said, put a lot of uh, fixation on the physical aspect of a connection. Um, it could be that every time you're dating someone or dealing with someone, you like think to yourself, it's the best sex I've ever had. Uh, but in reality, what you're really attracted to is uh, una unavailable people, people that are emotionally unavailable or unattainable. Um, and again, I feel that there's like a tug and pull where uh, they breadcrumb you. You need to stop allowing them to have that type of control over you. Um, you also have here the King of Cups. So I feel that you may be dealing with a person from the past that is a fire energy. And I see water energy coming through. For others of you, you may be uh, fire energy or you may have fire in your chart. That could be the reason why intensity is very important for you. I'm going to be honest with you and I'm going to tell you this off off the bat, I feel that for a lot of you guys that chose set number two, you are attracted to toxic men or toxic women. And the reason why is because when you find, when you find someone, yep, when you find someone that is like, what's the word I'm looking for? When you find when you find that someone is emotionally unavailable to you, it's like something within you like is triggered on a subconscious level that you start chasing. And they're telling me when you meet people that are normal, that are healthy, that are good partners, you have a tendency of either getting bored 
or feeling like it's not as intense so it must mean I don't like them and no that's not the case what spirit is telling you is you're attracted to chaos uh, it could be because you know you were triggered in early childhood it could be that you're carrying on certain things that you were taught um, you know addictions chaos instability in the home life um, that you've gotten yourself like convinced that only people that bring intensity to your life is people that you genuinely love. And what they're telling you is that's not true. Um, you're seeing things from a very distorted way. It's like, oh, if I find a, a good person or a person that's putting effort and energy, I get bored. Um, only a person that I constantly have to be chasing or a person that, uh, you know, is emotionally unavailable like like it triggers you it excites you it could be even that they're toxic and arguments and fights excites you because it makes you feel like you're passionate and you're intense in the relationship but in reality being normal and being bored and this is something i tell my clients oftentimes when you feel like you're getting comfortable in a relationship you're being tested why because when things are normal or even kind of like boring, that's a healthy state of being. We go through different stages in relationships. Um, and that's when people start to question like, oh, it's getting boring. You start wandering or they start wandering. Their eye starts to wander, etc. cetera. Um, and the reason for that is because in any relationship, it's, it's like a partnership. And in a partnership, it takes two people to make that connection work, that business run. Both of you have to put effort into maintaining the romance in the relationship. So again, I feel that you're very attracted to either chaos or attracted to people that are emotionally unavailable. What you need to work on is addiction. So I feel that that of being connected to people that are very emotionally unavailable or detached or people that you know, have you, you know, that, that confuse you is what I'm hearing. They're telling me like, almost like, I'm not looking for a relationship, but then they're telling me, but yet they're spending time with them. So then that gives you like mixed signals. Do you see what I'm saying? And you're hopeful and you're holding on to that hopefulness. This is an addiction. Dealing with people that are emotionally unavailable or feeling like you're only attracted to very intense, passionate partners could be an addiction of yours. Like, and it's a very distorted addiction because you're putting yourself uh, at the mercy of another person that is emotionally unavailable that they're not going to open up to you. If you've been dealing with people for over a year, as an example, and they're still telling you that they're not looking for a relationship, believe them. Stop hoping, stop chasing. That's exactly what I'm seeing. It's like, I feel that for some of you guys, you've dealt with people that may have actually addictions. Uh, for others of you, it's like gate closed. Like off the bat, they tell you they're not looking for a relationship, but for some reason, you get more sexually aroused or sexually attracted to them. Um, so that's what you need to stop doing rewrite your love story. So again, I feel that uh, for those of you guys that chose set number two, it's very important to understand uh, that, you know, being, and, and this is also another thing that I'm hearing. It's like, oh yeah, I like toxic people or toxicas or toxicos, which in English is toxic men or toxic women. And like making a joke out of it. And what they're telling you is, no, it's not funny. It's actually sad because you're self-sabotaging yourself. You are connecting or investing in people that you know are not worthy of you. Rewrite your love story uh, representing learn to see things from a very different perspective. Stop sacrificing yourself or stop feeling like only the intense and crazy chaotic relationships are uh, must mean that you love them. No, that that's actually not love. That's uh, you reenacting something that you learned in very early childhood. Um, perhaps you were raised in a household where there was no stability. For some of you guys, you could have dealt with partners, family members, uh, even father or mother figures that had addictions, or you were often made to feel like you were hard to love 
or like um, they weren't very affectionate to you. They weren't very loving. So you kind of learned uh, that being mistreated in some way must mean that that is love. You have to see things from a very different perspective in order to be able to attract a healthy partner that is going to bring to you the stability and the long term that you're looking for. Okay. All right. Let's go to set number three. Clear knowledge of why they're single. Those that show set number three. Why they're single. What they need to stop doing. Why they're single. What they need to stop doing. my lovelies for those of you guys that chose set number three let's get into it now your first card here is the queen of cups the queen of cups could represent overly emotional you could be the type of person that easily gets emotionally invested in a relationship or in a connection you have the justice card yeah there's a need for balance there's a need for you to balance your emotions it's like you're coming off as extremely needy so I feel that for some of you guys, it could be almost like the, you have this complex of overgiving, overdoing, or oversharing. Uh, and the reason for that is because you're trying to prove your worthiness to them. Um, and instead of them kind of embracing it, if that makes sense, it's almost like that that could be what pushes them away. There's a need for balance here. Now you also have here the wheel of the year. So I feel that for those of you guys that chose set number three, your luck is about to change when we're talking about relationships. I feel that for some of you guys, you've recognized these patterns or you've come to the understanding that there was healing that needed to happen. You put in the work you're much more balanced now. We do have the justice card next to the wheel of the year. It's like your luck is about to change. The stars are aligning. You've put in the work or you will be putting in the work to understand on a deeper level what it is that you truly want and what it is that you bring to the table and not allowing people to take you for granted anymore or not allowing people to... Uh, Take the beauty in your compassion. Um, take that for granted. It's almost like, I don't know why I'm getting overly emotional right now. I feel that for those of you guys that show set number three, it's like everything you do, you do it out of the kindness of your heart. And I feel like you over you try to overcompensate because in the past, you've you've been made to feel less or you've been made to feel belittled and it's like you try to prove your worthiness by overdoing and what spirit is telling you is that you're coming to the realization that there needs to be balance in relationships or that there needs to be a give and take it's not always give 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 the wheel of the year is again a cycle that is changing a cycle that is ending for you this is acknowledgement. This is understanding that you've there is a certain behavior or trait that you continuously kept doing in the past and that you're no longer going to allow yourself to do. The next card here is the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords could represent, um, again, taking some time out, really putting effort and energy. Understand. I feel that those of you guys that chose this set, like you've put in the work, you guys, you've really put in the work and you know what? You're going to be recompensated. Definitely. Um, yeah, they're telling me like you've, you've, you've put a lot into relationships. It's like you over fucking give, like there is a feeling of like, you want to continuously keep doing, keep doing, keep doing like 
whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. It's like you go above and beyond for people. And it's like a way of proving yourself or proving to them how much they mean to you. But you've pulled that back. Like you understand now, like, okay, people take advantage of that. I've been taken for granted. I People have taken advantage of those situations or my type of love. And I know I deserve better. So you're protecting yourself, pulling yourself back, understanding or analyzing, uh, having an aha moment and understanding that you deserve to be treated better. And this cycle is ending, meaning you're no longer like going above and beyond. You're like, I'm going to put in effort if they're willing to put in effort. There's major transformation here. So you're not going to be single for very long. <laughs> That's for sure. You have the Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is someone really seeing the value in you, um, really seeing the type of love that you give or that you offer. Like, you're, whenever they have made you feel less or they have made you feel like something's wrong with you or like you're hard to love or like you expect too much or like you're extremely clingy, this person that's coming in wants exactly that. The person that's coming in is the person that loves attention. This is a person that like loves, like they need a partner that is clingy because it, it kind of helps them balance themselves. Um, this is a person that really is very physical, very touchy, very, and I feel that that's your energy as well. Um, so this is like a very, very, beautiful type of energy and like I said I feel you've put in the work I feel you've been tested you've been like when it comes to love you're the giver that's for sure and I feel that this person that's coming in is a person that's going to be a giver as well so I feel that both of you guys are going to learn to balance each other out it's a give and take um with the queen of wands could be fire energy but I feel that this is a person that is going to bring to you the confidence that you've been lacking or the showing you um, through actions that that you're worthy, that you're the prize. This is a person that's going to boost your confidence. This is a person that is really, this is like your hype man or hype woman. This is a person that cheers you on. This is a person that loves uh, when you wear short dresses or guys, if you're a guy. This is the type of woman that likes to... Um, really admire your ass or how those pants fit you that type of energy like they don't get jealous they're like yeah you look good so it's really gonna like help you in your confidence believing in yourself trusting yourself it's like they're really embracing you to the max and i definitely see this very strong now you also have here the star card so i feel that planet alignments are currently aligning to bring to you a new beginning um love that's coming your way with the two of cups this is a genuine connection this is a strong connection uh you may be dealing with a libra you may be dealing with a fire energy sagittarius uh aries leo type of energy i see scorpio here as well as well as aquarius as well as water energy so i definitely see all the signs here but what they're saying here is like your weight for relationships or for being single is over like there is definitely new love that's coming your way uh and it's going to come quicker than you expect so perhaps in the past you gave too much you did too much you you know try to prove people your worthiness and i feel that you've either pulled that back or you've held back and this person that's coming through or the person that you will be meeting in the next couple of months is a person that is not going to expect you to prove yourself. They're going to want to prove themselves to you. So it's a very beautiful energy. Okay. We have retreat. Time to walk away to find yourself. I feel that you guys have been doing that for sure. Uh, with the wheel of the year, I feel that it's like a ending cycle where you've understood um certain behaviors about yourself and it's like healing through it or trying to figure out why you did that in the past um and it's like you're coming out with a deeper understanding of your person or of your nature and there is definitely a feeling of like i said pulling back your energy you're no longer allowing people to take you for granted 
we have the fun times. This is a person that's bringing in a lot of spontaneity into your life. This is a person that really is going to enjoy their time with you. Like I said, I feel that this person is definitely going to be like your cheerleader. They're going to be cheering you on. They're going to like really make you feel comfortable in your own skin or very confident in yourself. This is a person that is very spontaneous. This is a person that is going to bring out that fun side to you that perhaps you haven't experienced in a very long time. Um, beautiful, beautiful energy here. And hands of time, I feel that you're going to come to the realization why it didn't work out with anyone in the, in the, in the past. And the reason for it is because the right person was coming towards you. The right person that was going to help you flourish. The person was going to water your plant. You see what I'm saying? They're not taking from your plant. They're going to water it. They're going to embrace you. They're going to love everything about you. And it's going to just mesh very well with their personality and who they are. Um, that is going to help you understand how unloved you were in the past. Because this person is going to make you feel very loved. So it's a very beautiful reading. <laughs> so we weren't that harsh on you for those of you guys that chose set number three. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.